Misspelling CA. What does that mean, my Jesus? Hi guys! Welcome to Vampires. Do do these vampires um they sparkle? This is important. Was is this post? Or pre Twilight. Rip Florida Man. Florida Man. Sometimes life's gonna hit you in the head with a brick. The hell is this song? I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I. I thought I deleted this. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your life. Where's this idiot? Move forward. Work is gonna fill a large you part get of off life, my playlist. You shit. Is to do what you there we go. Uh, I was misspelling. Who was? Oh, gotcha. They sip or die in the light. I mean, it's excruciatingly painful. So avoid the light is what you're saying. Okay, I think I have this source set up. Um, everything should be working. Let me load up a vampire game. This should all work. I'm marginally sure this will all work. Please work. Please do the thing. This worked when I tried to do it from Willow. Oh, I hear noises. Ah, there it is! There it is, excellent. That set looks like it's really loud. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two volume settings, okay? Volume A. This is me talking. Volume B. This is me talking. Vote now. Your 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 vote is what matters. Which loudness is good or not? C is not an option. By the way, Sprawl, I'm in the uh, I'm in the Discord. If you want to voice, <laughs> I 
<laughs> she doesn't do that. <laughs> Q. Thank you. That's not how 8-ball works. Do none of you know how 8-ball works? Yes or no? Questions. Alright, hopefully the second half of that command will actually work. Only it wasn't locked. Oh, Discord's locked. God damn it. <laughs> I waited a minute for none of you to vote for anything. Uh, shit, hold on. Sorry. Um, I'm going to give the glory to a Stotska command. Um, full access. I need a roll. Glory. Uh, you can do all the things. Speech. Yes, yes. Okay. You should be able to get in now. There you are. Glory to Artstotska. What about Artstotska? Artstotska. That's because you have the. Uh... Tom Bosley says B. Because you have the Glory to Artstotska command, now you can go into the Discord. Is it B? What was B 100%? Uh. 100%. How, how was it? How was the volume? Do I need to turn you it down? Should... You should put the volume at 100% because neither of us have anything interesting to say. <laughs> Thank you for your kind assistance, as always. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down until people say otherwise. I'm always afraid of it being too loud. I mean, most of the music in this game is incidental ambience, so it really only matters as far as how the voices of the characters sound. That's true. So you really won't be able to tell until you're actually in the game. All right. Well, I will start the game and we'll st they can decide one way or another. A new game. I did like a real quick test and I found a very, very stupid looking vampire. Uh oh. It looks like a bat. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you don't wanna. I don't want the one with the bat. Wait, well, I don't know. What do you mean the one with the bat? The one that looks like the one that looks like bat, uh, man bat from uh, Arkham Asylum. Is it the, is it the one that? Got looks like somebody ran over its face. I don't know. Toonstruck is coming to stream. That's excellent. What a good game that was. Um, do I want to answer a? I I think I would probably want to answer a series of questions about the type of vampire I'd want to play. I mean, you could, but I don't. I I can't imagine not caring. Even if I was not, <laughs> I would not care about setting different attributes um i actually don't know how this works if you go to the character sheet it, like it gives you the choice to put in points yeah, like, yeah i know i don't remember if it automatically puts the points in for answering questions or not or if it just tells you what vampire you should be well let's let's go through the series of questions i would like my character to be female you're in a convenience store this is more of a story based option um Looking through the beer freezer, when all of a sudden a man walks in and pulls a gun on the cashier, do you A. Sneak up behind him, <laughs> uh, disarm him and beat him senseless, or make your way to the bathroom and lock yourself in? Uh, by the way, which, what's the stream that doesn't have any delay? Uh, beam? Exclamation yeah. mark beam. What's, what's the link to that? Exclamation mark beam. Type, that's what I have a fucking bot for. There you go. I don't think I lock myself in the bathroom. These are... I don't sneak or go away from the... Well, the questions are dumb, so what do you expect? Alright, I'm gonna sneak up behind... I don't go to the bathroom and hide. What kind of shit vampire does that? You meet some... You met someone at the club and they took you back to their place. You're Thanks. not a vampire yet, Roar. That's the answer. Things start getting interesting when all of a sudden you hear someone come into the front door. Their spouse. Uh-oh! <laughs> Do you head to the kitchen, let them see you, pretend you're a distant cousin, and were nice enough to let you stay on the couch. Holy shit, like, cuck them right in front of them. I like that. <laughs> Two, gather up clothes, hide behind the door. No, fuck that. Three, calmly explain you had no idea they were married. <laughs> Well, I mean, we never was all about the cucking. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be one. We are, that's going to be that's our role play. We're going to be cuck vampire. 
It's late. You are at the red spot, waiting for your microwave burrito to heat up. There are three arcade games to waste time on. Which one do you play? The fighting game. You pull off an uppercut. No. The beat 'em up game or the sniper game? I think beater game. Fighting well, games. We know, you, we know you like to beat it, so. <laughs> I, I hate I hate fighting games. Like, do you realize this is just a, a very transparent attempt of asking, do you want to be melee, punching, or guns? This is important for our character, Sprawl. God damn. All right. <laughs> While you're in a club, is Beam better? Is it actually faster? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So, guys, um, you're going to have to talk in Twitch chat if you want to say anything. But if you want to watch on Beam, um, that may be faster for you. Um... While in a club, you spot your ex-roommate who skipped out after taking your stuff and leaving with a stack of your bills. That motherfucker. <laughs> he looks dead drunk. I like how the background music just stopped, by the way. This game was not well programmed. <laughs> it literally just game. stopped. It just wasn't well programmed. It, it is dead silent. Uh, do you grab him by the head and repeatedly bash his face into the bar, or call the cops, see you in court, buddy? No, fuck that guy. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, these questions. You got mugged, blah, 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 blah. Uh, buy a gun. There we go. The uh, world is a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Because uh, just me and my dog. Yep, okay. Hell yes, dog. <laughs> the dog option. Dog option. You've been embraced by the gangrel clan. Are gangrels good? Um... They have the power all to right. shapeshift. Yeah, they're all right. I mean, should I do that or should I go back? I'm probably not going to do a second playthrough of this game, realistically well, speaking. You but... could just pick a vampire you want to be. Oh my god, there sure is a lot of stuff on the screen. I'm not reading any of this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, it, it kept my name from my test run. <laughs> and, uh, what is that? Uh, I can't see it because your TV's on top of it. No, it's at the top left. Oh, uh, no, it's not. It should be. It's a big, fl oh. it's a big old floppy fuck. Is my test name. Um, it's cut off on Beam. Is it? Oh, okay. it could. Be, it might be. Maybe it's a. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's right. There's an ad. Okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, that was just an ad. Okay, so can I? Should I change my vampire? Can I do that from here? Yes, oh. you can. Just cancel it and go back and. All right. Let's Don't select the question. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was interesting enough, but but for for the record, you you totally you totally cucked your best friend. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah. Go correctly to character sheet. I I couldn't handle the lack of music anymore. Um. Okay. So give me a quick rundown of which is the best vampire. Let's see. Do I want uh, this okay, guy? Okay. Leave that open and don't click on anything. I'm not. Okay. Oh, well, I'm looking at so, the clans. Well, like, so I can see all the names, oh. is what I mean. Oh, that, okay, yeah, sure. Bruja, uh, Gangrel. Yeah, Bruja and Gangrel are kind of like fighty mans to get up close and punch. Nosferatu and Malkavian are kind of sort of stealthy, but again, you probably shouldn't be either of those on your first run, which you're not going to do more than the first run. Uh, Tremere are stereotypically called, like, mages. They use blood magic to make people explode. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like a Twilight vampire. So, the, the question is basically, how how do you usually play games? Um, I guess probably Melee. Uh, what? <laughs> you, you can totally be Malkavian, and it's fine. What does Malkavian do? That, are, are they stealthy? Is that what you were they saying? They have invisibility. Well, I like invisibility. Uh, their, their main gimmick is all the dialogue is freaky as fuck. Oh, is that the freaky fuck? You know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, be Malkavian. <laughs> Because, from what I saw, the story looked kind of silly to begin with. Oh, excellent! Well, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, um, now I've got a lot of attributes. I guess I should put in stuff like strength. Uh, no, okay, so, like, if you notice, um, you have, like, physical has not, you can't put any points in physical. You oh. can put one point in social, you can put two points in mental. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, hmm. Charisma is and probably important. What, they, what each of the skills manipulates is on the right. Oh, I um, see. Like, is there some chances for me to bluff my way out of things? Yeah. Like, I should... 
Although I pro that probably takes more effort than I can do. So as a Malkavian, what should what, what where should I put my? Uh, well, you should put your discipline at the bottom in dimension. Dimension. The unique legacy. Yeah, like you, the, so. Those are your little vampire special powers, basically your magic, your uh -huh. magical abilities. Uh, the two best ones that you have are Dimension and Obfuscate. Obfuscate makes you invisible, Dimension lets you make other people insane. Which is your gimmick as a Malkavian. I can make people insane. I yes, like so you can actually make them so crazy they just die on the spot. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, so I should probably go into some stealth if I'm going to be a stealthy character. Uh, no. Stealth, you, you need a grand total of like one point of stealth to actually stealth. Stealth is like super easy. In this game. <laughs> okay. Um, melee like, probably. Like security, it, like lock picking is good. Research is like I'm looking on the oh, right. Like, oh yeah, I need I need research. to know lock picking. I love lock picking. I can't put any points. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, okay. Melee firearms. I, mean, I kind of want to play a melee build. Uh, firearms in this game are terrible until the end game. Okay, so that's probably for the best. Should I put in melee? Sure. Uh, okay. Um, knowledge. Computers. You don't really need to min-max this game. <laughs> okay. Um, fine. Should I do investigative skills? Uh, inspection is pretty worthless. Research is good. Research lets you get free skills by reading books. Research. Where the hell is research? Uh, if you highlight the skill on the oh, right, 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 show what yeah. okay, is it. I'll do a research, I'll do a scholarship, whatever. Like, I'm not going to mid max this, so let's just let's just do let's do all basic all around. What about computers? Should she know computers? Um, probably. All right, I'm gonna get brawl. Well, okay, I'll, I'll answer the question. You don't need computers at all if you have game facts open. <laughs> um. <laughs> I have a faith in our ability here. Finance. Doesn't inspection make the hot spots easy to find? I have an inspection. Oh, yeah. Um, inspection makes loot show up. It sparkles. Oh, I, can, I like that. All right. Uh, perception. Uh, ranged combat, meh. Intelligence. Wits. Have some wits. Intelli uh, what's what's I'd probably put it intelligence for research. Um, improved defense and hacking feats. Uh, intelligence for research. Okay, what does research do again? It gives you free skill points. Oh, excellent! I like that. Do do a lot of intelligence. We're gonna have a smart vampire. Um, I don't think it makes bonus things appear, brain Busta. It just makes it just lets you see loot easier. Basically, should, but some of the loot is hard to find, and should, so unless you're like thorough. Should I turn on auto level? No. Okay. Is that ever a good idea? In the game? <laughs> I don't know. If you do that, you're gonna get like a hundred points in firearms every time you level up. That uh, that's terrible. Okay. All right. Let's let's uh, I, we we're figured out. Let's let's start the game. <laughs> I paid only a slight bit of a. Just a normal Friday night for you. <laughs> this is a party. Was oh, that me? Yes. I look really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> look, remember I said I told you that the opening cutscene was like placeholder animation. Well, it was like when I did Dragon's Dogma that one time, and I spent like an hour making that terrible monstrosity, and then it finally comes into the game, and it's just hilarious. It's like they actually rendered this. Whoa, this character looks super silly. You're a Malkavian, that's kind of the point. You should see what your upgraded outfits look like. Whoa! Oh, shit! Um, for example, uh, if you're a male Malkavian, uh, one of the outfits he gets to dress up in is a pimp coat with a floppy hat. Oh, that's amazing. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws so this is this the vampire convention? The laws of the yes. Our existence have 
have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. Wait. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. He said that they decided if they could sire? Than I am a servant to the yeah, it's making another vampire. Okay. It turns out the vampires have a lot of bureaucracy. <laughs> Apparently. Adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Oh my god! <laughs> that sword! He has a cloud sword. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. When did FF7 come out? <laughs> um, I don't know, like, 98? Ah, well, this was like 2003 or 2. Oh yeah, definitely before this game. This is bullshit! Oh, well, I didn't know if it was like a right after, like it was just like a straight up rip off. <laughs> if Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings. So they didn't kill the vampire that the guy made, they just killed him instead. Good evening. Right. It's not her fault. Well, they were gonna kill you, but then, um... Fortunately, the, the convention raised a stink. Literally, the only vampire lore I have to go on is Twilight. And that's kind of embarrassing, but that's like, I have nothing else to go on vampire wise. Oh, well, that's good. You're role playing because you're not supposed to know anything either. Oh, good. If we wish to survive. The vampire the guy made is you. Is it? I look even. Oh, that is me. I forgot yeah, how yeah. dumb I look. Understand my... Yeah, yeah, like you literally just like you literally just had sex with a guy and woke up as a vampire. That's what happened. So you're, you're taking this pretty well, all things considered. Yeah, she's got a little bit of a saunter. <laughs> also, those are very strange breast physics. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like they're almost they're almost good for the time, I guess, but they look a little weird. This guy looks like Eric Trump. It does a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this guy is basically vampire Donald Trump, for what it's worth. Um, what? I, I didn't listen to a goddamn thing this guy said. What? Um, can you summarize what he th he just said to me? Please? Um, he said you're lucky as hell that you're alive. You're gonna work for me now. You're going to Santa Monica to do some shit for me. Oh, okay. So now I work for that guy. More or less. <laughs> oh, it's the tutorial guy. I should... Should I do... What? The Reign of Ages... Oh, this is where the weird talk comes in, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So you're not gonna know a goddamn thing that you're saying. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I don't know what's going on anyways. The Reign of Ages, <laughs> pull out again. Oh, man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian. To wash away revelation. <laughs> this is this is actually really good. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Bender. By the way. Oh yeah, it is. Should I should I should I do his tutorial? Uh, probably, so you know what the fuck you're doing. I it's should actually rather. What the hell is the right option? <laughs> I think it's the first one. 
break down for me. Oh, I guess okay. break down for me the bare bone basics it's is basically just basically just give you the gist of it. Okay. One is full tutorial, and three is fuck off. <laughs> I guess I should undertake his dark tutelage. Now, we ain't got much time. <laughs> the whole game's gonna be like this. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, well, it's not, it's kind of like I thought. It's not once you get used to it. It's not like incredibly stupid what they're saying. They just say really kind of silly things like about what well, beverage do you babble is obviously what do you what kind of drink do you mean? Right. Well, I mean, but like some of it is like there's a conversation that you can have like about an hour into the game that spoils the entire plot of the game. You just won't realize it because it'll be utter nonsense to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god he's telling okay i i got it uh this guy he's saying that i need to suck blood as a vampire yes Did they do that in twilight uh do, do you not know anything about twilight i could totally not, all i know about twilight are like the sick memes <laughs> No, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, because I've I've read all the books. I don't give no fucks. I'll tell you all the embarrassing things about Roar. I've I've read all oh, of the oh, books. Oh no, wait, no, wait, wait. I, one thing I do know is that apparently the head vampire, in order, to, well, not the head, you know, the vampire dude, whatever the fuck his name is, um, he cut his girlfriend's brakes so she couldn't leave the house. He did, yeah, he totally did. <laughs> no, he cut like, like the one engine of the few line. Things I know about it. That is in book three, I think. Well, I mean, to be fair, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why, and I'm sure you care, but there were a bunch of rogue vampires around, and he was afraid that they would kill her. Or no, 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 that's not it. She was going to go see the werewolf. You, you know you know how, like, she was totally obsessed with the werewolf? She wanted werewolf dick? No, I, I don't know. Well, now you do. She, like, she like was... Sp okay, whatever, I'm going to answer this guy. We'll, we'll go more into that later. You keep that on okay. the back burner. One is basically asking, won't he become a vampire then? Him? The guy that you, whoever you fight. Okay. What is, okay. Um. Okay, so I need to go suck a guy. Let, uh. Just suck off a bum that's around the corner. I, do I just run up to him and hit E, I think he said? Yes, yeah, so you also want to try not to kill him by draining all of his blood. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get you. Because if you just straight up murder people, you lose a thing called humanity, and if you lose all your humanity, you kind of go insane. Excellent. Okay, I need to run up to him and hit F. All right, I'm gonna get you. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> wow! And then hit F again before he uh... dies completely. Ah, gotcha. You can keep that blood, buddy. Uh, he's super okay with this. Oh well, yeah, when when you bite somebody, uh, they are kind of dazed for a while afterwards. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Effort, you know. <laughs> hey, buddy, I did the thing. Also, yeah, the the blue bar on your left is your life. The right, the red bar on the right is your magic, basically. So this guy is a vampire as well? Yes. Can you not see the fangs in his mouth? I mean, I guess, but he doesn't have red eyes. Why would he have red eyes? Vampires need red eyes. That's They always have red eyes. No, they don't. They totally do. Have you ever seen Nosferatu? He has black eyes. That's because it's black and white. <laughs> God damn. Oh yeah, uh, whenever you bite somebody, they, they have an orgasm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the lore. In this game's canon, or just... Yes, in, in this No, in... So this game is based on a pen and paper series, right? Mm -hmm. Like D&D, &D, but with vampires, and that, that is the lore in that setting. <laughs> they just have an orgasm? Basically. Also, what happened to my subtitle? Oh, there they are. <laughs> my subtitles disappeared for a while. Like uh, I said, it's a well-programmed game. I guess if you push right mouse button, the oh yeah, yeah, there. there's a button you can push that makes them go away. Uh, 
Okay, so a stake can get paralyze you. But not kill you. Running water is fine. Which, th this is mostly for people that are into vampire stereotypes, which you are not since your only um, reference is Twilight, which doesn't have the usual vampire stereotypes, I believe. Uh, yeah, they're not, not very... Yeah, they, they're, they're vegetarians, they call it, because they don't eat people, they eat animals. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> oh, also, if you were... Um... I might come up later. Uh, I can't. I can't eat this guy. Feed attempt failed. Oh, he's a vampire uh -oh. Whoa! Uh oh. I hope that door opens. Is it supposed to open? Oh yeah, yeah. Hi. Use the space bar to jump. Oh god, there's. There's the boxes on the wall. Don't worry. There's not really platforming. Like, this is like the only part in the game where there's platforming. And one other, like at the end of the game. Oh my god. Also, you're wearing your skirt a little low. <laughs> you Oh, it's sparkling because I have Inception. Oh yeah, except this always sparkles. It's coated. Oh, I got a lockpick. Excellent. Your only lockpick. Whoa! Jack's here. Rur, can you up the graphics on this thing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm on max quality, I'm pretty sure. I believe maybe the fan patch adds graphic options and he's used to playing it with the fan patch. It's possible. Because this is it looks pretty similar. Oh my god, they're talking about vampire politics. Yes, this game's all about vampire politics. Back away. Whoa! It's not a vampire. And... <laughs> he is not... <laughs> I forgot to let the wolf go through him, and he didn't fall down. Because that's a known bug. <laughs> Didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> I had that cutscene play properly once the entire time. Oh yeah. Also, Roar, are you, are you done laughing? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I realize you're not in a state for it, but vampire politics are actually pretty important in this game. I'm I'm, I'm sure they absolutely are. Just give me give me a rundown because I was too busy on uh, whatever the hell was. Happening. Also, this is like... a rundown after the tutorial because he'll kind of go on, and I don't want to retread ground that hasn't been, or I don't want to tread new ground. Um, I just realized that I think I skipped the tutorial the first time because I started out like going down some stairs. Did you start out in an apartment? Yeah, so yes, I must have skipped that guy. Also, what does this guy want from me? Um, he wants you to go lock pick that door. Lockpick the door. Yes, down the hall you were about to go down. Why did he bring me back here? God he damn. went back here. You weren't supposed to follow him. <sighs> Once it begin lockpicking, you'll see this bar. Okay. It's not a mini game at all. <laughs> you just lockpick. If you have enough points, the door unlocks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The graphics are pretty great. Oh, hello. Hey, this was top-notch shit back in 2002. Uh, shortcut. Well, I'm actually done, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> angel in life, were you? Um... I knew my share of demons. Sure, whatever. The basics are old vampires rule, new vampires rule. That's fair. Yes, va basically, you know, I inappropriate with glory to Arstotska. Vampires are divided into a class system. So we need to rise up and revolt, brother. 
of juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. Is... Let me tell you about Why vampire you socialism. <laughs> we're, the, we're the vampire communists. Uh, no, you aren't, but there are vampire communists in this game. <laughs> well, good. Living in the age of cell phone cameras. So bats are fucking... Okay, yeah. So they're the ones that are... They're being too obvious about being vampires. Yeah, Sabbats are like crazy psychopaths that go around and they make thing, lives difficult for other vampires. Kind of want to not be on the 5 o'clock news. <laughs> I'm thinking that maybe picking the crazy language option was not the best. Uh, no, the, the, the one that's really bad is the one that looks like, you said it looked like a Batman. Right. Because that, if you're just seen by a human... Uh, you get a thing called a masquerade violation, and if you get enough that masquerade violations, you lose the game. Oh, so that's that. You got to be definitely stealth. All right. Yeah. Don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation. Okay. You do what you got to do. Um. Property breaking and entering. So look around you. Oh right, yeah. So uh, the Camarilla are basically the establishment of vampires. They're not necessarily good, but they're not. They're assholes, but they're not. Um, overt about it. Right. The Sabbat are overt about being assholes, so they're like, they're like chaotic evil, basically, you know, D&D &D lingo. Whereas the Camarilla just try to keep things running smoothly so that their lives are easy. I'm looking for a key. Mm -hmm. Is it this note? So, <clears throat> yes. Password chop shop. Chop chop. So now I need to Bump go into the, the computer. computer. Oh! Um, safe. Chop chop. Well, that's a terrible place for that password. Alrighty, I went in this safe. Uh, can I not? Yeah, it should be open. Oh, you don't know, you have to, uh, yeah, okay, so the have teams. Oh, do this, I need to, uh, work. You can go back into the computer. Oh, right god, there. that's, oh my god. <laughs> That is terrible. This is all computer interaction, by the way, is typing. Unless you hack, in which case, if you have enough points, it puts the password in for you. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the Wait back. until you get I'll to emails. You have to type out their entire name, including punctuation. Well, I don't mind the typing. I just didn't... I, th I thought that once I put in the password, it, like, automatically unlocked, but... Maybe I am Well, the, compu crazy. the computer automatically unlocked, but... Like, because some computers have multiple options when you unlock them. It needs to know what you want to do. Like, do you want to read an email, or do you want to download this guy's bank account? Oh, good. Okay, this leads me down here. Oh, no! So these vampires are using... I've never seen vampires use guns. I mean, look, it's the 21st century. Why <laughs> wouldn't they use guns? I mean... <sighs> so Blue Bar, even wounded. Um, so I need to go get some... I need to go suck somebody. What you're trying to yes. say. Uh, well, yes. Unfortunately, there's not a rich guy around here. So you're gonna go have to suck off a bum. <laughs> God knows where he's been. When it comes to feeding, it's quality blood. Uh, this is a fun fact. So if you were a Ventru vampire, aka Vampire Republican, uh, you would be blood racist. And if you tried to drink blood from somebody that was low class, so uh -huh. to speak, you'd have a 50-50 chance of throwing up and not getting any blood from them. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Do you still have to go through the same tutorial? Because it looks like you have to suck off a bomb. Yes, you do. Okay, don't kill them. Yeah, I got it. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking guy. He's like, rehashing information. Okay, gonna suck off a bomb. Actually, he's not. He's rehashing information I gave. Did he? I th I could, well, either way. Well, he didn't say anything about humanity and what happens if you kill somebody and, you know, bullshit. Uh, oh, I, I, okay, I must have. Yeah, I remember it being talked about. Hello, guy. 
This guy, it looks like he's already excited about, oh, he's just walking. <laughs> Dude, he's a, he's a bum, okay? He's not excited about anything. They look pretty excited to me. I mean, he looks way excited now. He's studying the hell out of this wall. <laughs> okay, I'm good now. I think I did see Interview with a Vampire once, and it was, like, whatever. Give it a try. Yeah, it was alright. Enjoy your AIDS. Rats can be... <laughs> rats can be fed on... I don't... Fuck. <laughs> Humans you can do just talk to them again and not do it. Oh, okay, yeah. I, 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 or, well, or, actually, you, you, should, you should go eat a rat. I guess I should go see a rat. Uh, oh, there's one. I gotcha. I'm gonna get. God damn it! Ah. Uh. Yeah, the the vampire mythos is kind of similar to Interview with a Vampire. Uh, vampires, if you remember anything from that movie or book, if you read it. Sorta, I guess. Also, you need to be grabbing the rats, not punching them. How do I? I can't grab them. F. You F. Them. Oh, I was hitting E. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> the rat disappeared. <laughs> Are they just gonna hang in the air every time? Um, I don't remember them doing that. <laughs> did you Did you they, see it hanging in the air? It was not supposed to hang in the air. I'm assuming. I saw it hanging. Yeah, I saw it hanging in the air. And then it just disappeared. Man, ma maybe all this shit was just fixed in the the extra batch. <laughs> he just called her a rat sucker. <laughs> Yes, that's why I wanted you to. Well, that's that's why I wanted you to go for the rat. That is pretty amazing. My God, <laughs> you know what my character reminds me of? It reminds me of like seven or sixteen-year-olds on the internet who are trying to be quirky. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it'll it'll be worth it for the extra costumes. I don't like once you get the next set of body armor, it becomes amazing. I, I don't know if you and I hung in the same circles, but it, back in, like, 2001, kids would talk with, like, thesauruses and, like, pick the weirdest words for things. Yeah, that sounds familiar. That's what my character feels like he, she's doing. See, I thought your character looks like the type of person that curls their hair and chews bubblegum. <laughs> oh, I got sneak. And then talks in that like, do you remember the secretary from uh, Ghostbusters? Uh, vaguely, like the like the New that, Yorky style. Yeah, that high pitched New Yorky whiny voice. Yeah, probably talks like that. Who am I sneaking up on? Uh, you need to go through the gate. He was standing by. That gate can be opened. Oh, the weird. chain link fence. There we go. A rat pyre. Uh, so I should warn you that. The sections coming up are very unforgiving tutorial sections that force you to retry it if you don't do exactly what it says. Ah, uh, sucks. I'm gonna get that guy. Come, come here. I think uh -oh. you just need to sneak by him, not attack him. They oh. want you to attack him. Yeah, it, I've been detected by my enemy. Yeah. All right. I'm at. Okay. Yeah, Valley Girl. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Valley Girl vampire. What exactly am I sneaking past? You, okay, so he's walking to the right. Then a flash is going to happen, and he's going to run to the left. So you want to go to the right. Oh, God. Uh, he saw me. Shit. Okay, I see what it wants me to do, though. All right, so I'm going to go. let him go over to the right. Then he's going to go over to the left, which will give me enough time to walk past him. Or there might be a door on the right. There's like a flash that happens. Yeah, there also might be a door you can go through. All right, I will look. Yes, yeah, so there's um, a door. You can also on the make right. this easier if you, uh, I think, mouse wheel scrolls through your vampire powers in the bottom right. Okay, so I gotta be ready to fight this guy.
Uh, to engage in arm arm contact, you need to equip your fists. Do I have to? I thought I. Unarmed. Your fists are equipped. If you just attack, it'll. Like if you have a melee weapon, you equip a melee weapon, and then if you want to punch things, you need to you know equip your fist. And he's taking that like a chance. <laughs> So my fists are already. Roar, are you trying to get an upskirt? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's definitely not. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Yes, sneak up on him. Where are you? Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Whoa, that guy was so easy. What? <laughs> yeah, you're a vampire. You have super strength. But that guy was a vampire too, wasn't he? Yeah, but he was like a. He was like a fresh off the rack vampire. Yeah, but he should have done something. It's also a tutorial. Um, I'm I'm specializing in unarmed, aren't I? So should I even equip a weapon? I think it wants you to equip the weapon. So yes, you should equip the weapon. <sighs> All right. Uh, where's the weapon? Higher iron. I mean, it, I'm equipped. It's, uh, it's not going to be plot spoilers because Roar's not going to know what the fuck is being said. Is the thing. The problem with the oh my god zany personality. Have, has there been a spoiler? Because I have certainly haven't noticed it. Nothing major. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. There, be able there, to there will be big spoilers soon. But, yeah. but I mean, is if I don't know the actual story, then how is it's not really a spoiler. There are a couple of things that if you like know, like like for example, if you know some shit about like a Greek mythology or something, you can figure something out a bit earlier. You know, that's a lot of assumptions there. It's kind of like uh, how kind of like how knowing the the Sphinx riddle can help you out in some games, like the whole two le four legs in the morning and two legs. I think and everybody the knows that. Shit. Riddle yeah, that's point. pretty much. Uh, door right next to him. Yeah. Oh, there's a toilet. Can I do anything? No, this is not Duke Nukem. Does this game have any uh, Chivos? I'm, th I'm thinking no. Not built in. If Steam has them, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to alt tab to find out. Also, I should probably save. No, it's it's the tutorial. Like, you literally, if you die... Oh, well, I guess that you could crash. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save, just in case. Uh, save game. Special tutorial, sure. It's one of those things, if you go afterwards, you look back. Yeah, that's, I'm not going to, other than that, I, I'm not going to be able to tell the difference. I will say, like, the easiest classes to play as were probably uh, Bruja or Tremere. I don't know what those look like. Uh, Bruja was the punchy man thing, and Tremere was the mage. Uh, key to sneak is to sneak, not run up to him. <laughs> I didn't see him there in the corner. Not sure what's going Whoa! <laughs> that yeah, guy. Sneak attacks, one hit kill, everything. Oh, nice. Whether it's a vampire or a human. That guy came out and of nowhere. Basically, if you're not seen, you can sneak anywhere. Like, stealth skill does very little. Like, you need one point in stealth, and you move completely silently. Oh, yeah, blood buff. Blood. You didn't read that tooltip, did you? Um, so... Tempor <laughs> oh, temporarily increases your ability, then you can... Now I can lockpick, and now that will help me do it better. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yep, yep, got it. I, I, I read it, sort of. I sort of skimmed over it. Uh, Malkovians have three unique abilities. Auspex, second sight that allows you to see the aura of others, uh, causes visions and madness, and vampiric invisibility. Oh my god. Uh, use of Auspex is not a masquerade violation. Oh, I like how it may let me use my ability in that tooltip, so I just accidentally used blood buff. God damn it. Um, Auspex. Can I see him? 
Oh, I totally can't. Oh god. Ah, fuck off that guy. Excellent. I think they're clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. So, our next encounter at the elevator. Don't let him catch you. So I'm starting to sneak past some of these guys again. Obfuscate. This is... God, this tutorial is going on for a dog's age. I mean, I guess it's probably a good idea since I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Vampiric ability. Okay. So do you see me? How did I get detected? Um... As long as you stand still. Okay, so... I'm confused by this ability. Sorry about that, I had to leave real quick. Oh, okay. So, I have no idea what happened in the past three minutes. Uh, oh. What ability? Auspects? Yeah. The, uh, okay, no, obf Auspex. obfuscate. Obfuscate. Oh, obfuscate makes you invisible. Oh, I think I get it. So I need to go that way. So, with Obfuscate, you're just totally invisible to... As long as you don't interact with anything. So I need to, like, sneak past him while yeah, he's... Yeah, which should be really easy if you're invisible. But you can't move while you're invisible. That's right, yeah. Uh, level 1 Obfuscate, you can't move. Level makes this kind of a pain. Oh wow, I didn't even need it that time. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, that's what you meant. Oh, that's so rude! If you don't play the game exactly how it wants you to. Holy shit. Are you, are you getting your beam back? Yeah. Also, for whatever reason, you turned into a robot, so I had to turn off the internet. That's why I left. Oh, okay, no worries. Well, it really makes me do this stupid thing. Yes. <sighs> did, uh, did Twitch die? I don't know. I'm not on Twitch. What the hell is that noise? Oh, that's the vampire. Okay. Dementation is not vampiric power. Is the vampiric power it... Uh, that's it's... the one that makes people go crazy, right? Yes. Awesome. Oh, there was, an, there was another easier way you could have gotten through that. Um, you Fuck, I don't know what it's called for dementation. Domination. You have an ability that just makes people fall unconscious. Oh, really? But yeah. but but if I don't use the thing it wanted me to, it probably wouldn't it probably wouldn't work. Right, you have to use the thing it wants you to, but that you just have to use it. Then you can use something else. You just have to use it once. Yeah, that's stupid. You just have to use it, and then the the tutorial realizes that you used it. Also, you, you shouldn't be obfuscating. I'm not trying to be. Oh, okay. I don't think I am. Oh, no, no. It, yeah, it, it stays active as long as you're still. That's right. Okay, so now you can just go past them. They're out of it. Or whatever it is the tutorial told you. Uh, unless it ran, ran out. It ran out. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Just go through the door. We're just killing 
I guess it's letting me kill them, so... Yeah, I think you were supposed to use the ability and then attack them. Because if I remember right, the second level obfuscate is like a debuff. Ah. Uh. Oh god. I didn't... Oh, it, it, wow. It even makes me kill them and then it tells me I did it wrong. Super rude. Also, no, Twitch is not down. Ah. So I need to use mass hysteria. Okay, wait, wait. Well, shit, I didn't have a chance to read it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, uh... What you do is you run in there, use mass hysteria, and beat them up. Oh. That's what it wants you to do. So now they are hallucin they're hallucinating. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Making them stronger. Oh my god. Fucking guys, they're strong. Taking my ass, what they're doing. Well, you did ask the vampires to be a bit stronger. Is that what hallucination does? Okay, yeah, so, no. Um, mass hallucination debuffs. It's just a debuff. That was them debuffed? Uh, yeah. It, make, it basically just makes them do less damage and Ooh. makes them easier to hurt. Uh, if you want to make things easier, uh, cast you know, your mass hysteria likes it wants you to do, and then cast blood buff, because blood buff raises your damage resist and your strength. Oh, okay. Oh, you already got past it. Yeah, I did eventually. Like, now I'm... Okay, yeah. Bl blood buff is, like, just uh, a good... Like, if you're in, like, just a straight-up fist fight, it's a good thing to use, because it just buffs your strength and your constitution. Um, this, uh, you can throw it in the corner and you can use Hysteria just to stun him, to make it even easier. That should be an ability you have. Hysteria? Yeah. Hysteria is just a stun. Oops. And then just walk to the door. Oh, you're in the last room in the tutorial. Well, second to last room, but basically the last room. Oh, now I get a gun. So why you just you just have a pistol because it's good to have. Why a wouldn't you have a pistol? Because you're a vampire. What a shit vampire needs to rely on a pistol. Why wouldn't you want a pistol though? But you should be like practically invulnerable. I mean, that, every lore of the vampires were like that. You know, I say that I all I know is Twilight, but I actually did listen to uh, uh, Dracula. Like, original Bram Stoker's Dracula. I don't think he gets shot in Dracula. No, that was, yeah, that was sort of a segue. But, uh... So, that that means nothing. Well, what I was, where I was going with, with that was that... But, okay, uh, Roar. What? He's supposed to be super if strong. A vampire, if you're a vampire, would you say no to a rocket launcher? Well, so I'm just like, here, do you want a rocket launcher? I mean, absolutely, because then you lose all the blood. There you go. If you if you shoot someone with a rocket launcher, what are you gonna do? Lick it off the walls? No, no, not another person. Like another vampire. You shoot another vampire with a rocket launcher. Well, vampires should be invulnerable to rocket launchers. Why would they be invulnerable? What kind of shit? You're supposed to be super strong. That's like all yeah, the vampires. Yeah, you can take like twenty bullets to the gut and not die. That's pretty strong. Oops. 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 
What does it want me to do? There's a bottle on the crate at yeah. the end of the hall. B basically, so basically in the lore of this game, like if you shoot a vampire with a gun, it does nothing. If you shoot a vampire enough times with a gun, it does something. So like if you buckshot them in the face, that'll kill a vampire. But if you shoot a pistol in their heart, they'll shrug it off. There we go, God! <laughs> what the hell? These barrels are just going nuts. There we go. <laughs> to be fair, you do have zero points in guns. Also, you don't have to shoot down every bottle, just one. Oh, so I just go back to them? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I've just been given a revolver. You should probably unequip it because there will be a fight soon. Oh, also, um, I believe this fight coming up is with human enemies. Um, if you're fighting a human enemy, you don't actually have to fist fight them. You can just suck their blood and drain them dry. And that effectively kills them. Okay, so... F is the feed button. <laughs> right. But no, like... The reason you would want a gun as a vampire is more as a convenience thing, not that you need to rely on them. Especially, like, if you get into a fight with a human, you don't want to show the world you're a vampire and do, like, crazy shit to them. If you can, you'll just shoot them in the face with a gun and walk away. Whoa! That sort of thing. <laughs> Fuck that guy! <laughs> Oh, I must have got, like, a headshot on him or something. Also, if there's anybody left alive, you should probably try the drinking blood thing. I getcha! Uh, my feed attempt failed. Oh, yeah, that's based on your brawl skill. If you have low brawl, they'll sometimes shake you off. Do it. If you use blood buff and do it, it'll probably work. Oh. Alright, we'll get to know next time. Uh, yes, yeah, wacky sis. That is, that is brawl. Combat is not the only solution for sticky situations. I mean, it seemed like it right there, but... Uh, this is the persuade. This is they couldn't be bothered to put a persuasion <laughs> tutorial in, so they just stuck it on the end. I'd be pissed if this wasn't so cute. Uh, you so yeah, this, this, so right after this, it should be where you started the game when you played it. Um, I killed all the people. Jack's in here. Blood Talk everywhere. I tried. the option to. You had oh. the option to until you shot him in the face. <laughs> you may have broken the game. No, it's fine. Like, I, I should warn you, this is a very buggy game. Try not to fuck with it overly much. It'll probably fall apart. Uh, you, you mean not the rat in the air again? It didn't even disappear that time. <laughs> well, to be honest... <clears throat> Look, it's the Half-Life engine. What do you want? It does look like World of Warcraft. No, God, no, 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 no. This looks a tad better than World of Warcraft. At least original World of Warcraft. I don't know, they probably updated. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, nowadays it looks that looks better than this, but old school World of Warcraft looked just about... Eh, this is slightly better, but it's its own game, so I mean... I got a cab to catch. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Hell is my eternal madness. My life. So, how did... How does the tutorial, just this entire level that we could just skip through the main game, so nothing that we did mattered? Yes, nothing you did mattered. <laughs> Do I even get anything extra for doing it, or is it just... Like, those extra experience points do I get? Is it, like, add-on to the main game? Did you get extra experience points? I got two extra experience points. Yes, then yeah, you, you got two experience points for doing the tutorial. Well then, you know. Two experience points is a lot in this game. I know like most games are used to getting like a hundred or a thousand. In this, like, a large amount of experience for doing a quest is like four. Oh man. I mean, whoa, blood pack. All right, taking it. Taking it I should turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. <laughs> Oh, and you should check, um, 
I, there might be something in the bathroom, and you should check your computer and the drawer that your computer is standing. The password for the computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. Yours. I also dropped you an email with my address. Come on over. Mercurio. Okay, so Mercurio was... Okay, so the guy that didn't kill you, the guy that looks like Donald Trump. Uh-huh. Remember him? Uh, okay, that, so he's Donald. the... There, yeah. there, Donald Trump. Trump's son. Is yeah, yeah. He is the prince. He is basically the vampire overlord of Los Angeles. Or not Los Angeles. Santa, whatever the fuck city this is. Los Angeles. So he's basically the vampire ruler of the city. And he told you to find Mercurio and do something for him. Okay. Was the plot that you skipped over. Oh god. Emails. Email for suckhead. Do you change your name? Oh shit, it is my name, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is my name? I forgot. <laughs> oh, I thought that was like actually in the game. Like, my name in the game was Suck no. It. <laughs> no, go, go back to email. You need to read all of them. I'm, uh, I'm reading the 1-800-5556 for penis enlargement. <laughs> Excellent. Previous. Uh, if you hit P, yeah, if you hit P, it'll go back to the email screen you want to type in. Uh, Mercurio will contact when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Okay, delete. Um, garbage. Uh, I'm keeping that. Looking for that lazy you, ass. Oh, oh. Are, you, are you keeping the 1 800 dick number? Of course. <laughs> Unless I have an email limit. No. No, actually, um, there might be a bug associated with deleting emails from your computer, so I probably wouldn't delete any. Uh, okay, I, I deleted that first one because I don't care about Mercurio's email. It should be fine. It's something I heard about like eight years ago, so maybe it's not even a thing. But Welcome to town. Get on over to my place and we'll get you situated and we'll talk about what you need to get the job done. I'm going to pack some explosives right now. I'm at 24 Main Street. Why, why is Mercurio? What, what, what is our relationship other than I work He's for him? He's the guy. Right, right, right. I know, he, I know he is, but I mean, why does he care so much about me? Because probably the prince told him he has a job to do, so he wants to do his job right, not to piss off the crazy vampire lord. Ah. Oh my god. What the hell is my name? I can't even... I know it's something like a big floppy fuckhead or something like that. I don't know yes, where Suckface is. Yeah, it's it's on your character your skill screen if you go to that. How do I get to that? I. K. A. Oh, a big old floppy fuck. Yeah, I don't know where Suckface came from. Uh, there might also. Um... Did you get the money from the desk drawer? I did get the money from the desk drawer. There might be like a bottle of pills in the bathroom. Uh, indeed. Pill bottle. Uh, there's, uh, normal watch. Oh, yeah, take that, too. Taking that. Shit to sell. Your apartment looks rather lovely, I gotta say. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, this picture of a flower is interesting, but... Alright. Oh, this door is locked. I'm, I'm gonna pick it. Yeah, it should break into everything. Ah, shit. Um, I need to use blood buff. Blood buff. Whoops. I was attacking the door. There we go. Blood buff. Nice. AKA, I don't need to put any points into dexterity ever in the entire game. Nice. Fuck this place. I'm gonna listen to your messages. This, this apartment's empty. Yeah, it's locked. Um, I think there's something under the sink. It might be a book. It'll probably... Oh yeah, it's shining, so you can. Peepin, a voyeur field guide. <laughs> what? Uh, this book up you your next stealth door to a voyeur. <laughs> Every yeah. good voyeur needs to develop a sneaking game. Okay, you'll be tap tapping tapping <laughs> <needs> in no time. <laughs> Calling a newbie suck face isn't something. Oh, so it's supposed to be an insult. Okay, I mean, like, that's fine. I can I can gather that. I thought it was, like, a term of endearment. Like, do they call each other suck face? 
vampires are assholes. They like to make fun of new vampires. Yeah, like, I imagine... Like, Their so... whole society is actually built on the dicks to new vampires. <laughs> like, that's what you do as a vampire? You just dicks to vampires that are younger than so, you? So, like, the, the vampire lore in this is basically... Um, the, the, you know Cain and Abel from the Bible? Right. Cain was the original vampire in this. And he is slash was the most powerful vampire. And the vampires he made were less powerful than him. Wait, you the mean... they made were less powerful than them, etc, etc, etc. You mean literally Cain from the Bible is the original yes, vampire? Yes, literally Cain from... Yes. <laughs> really? That's the lore from this. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And... So, but basically... Old vampires are super powerful and young vampires are kind of punks. Are you going to make use of the glitch that allows you to sell books and buy back multiple copies? I don't oh, yeah, know what that's that a glitch is. You can do. So if you had not read that book, you could sell it to a shopkeeper, buy it, read it, and then buy it again. Huh. Now there's a limit. Like that book will only raise your stealth up to two. So there's no point in having more than two copies of it. So when I get more books, I need to do that. Yeah, potentially. Here, let me put some fortune in your misfortune. Fuck this guy. This is just like um, a bum, right. right? Although his eyes are awful shiny. Is he a vampire? Uh, you should probably pick three. No, he's not a vampire. You should probably pick three. I think three lets you just eat, eat blood. Do not quench your dart. Whoa. Uh, that didn't do anything. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. Don't kill him. I'm not. He is fine. There you go, big guy. So Okay. Kane's kid being less powerful means they could survive getting nuked, really. <laughs> um in the pen and paper game you can get Oh yeah, no so like yeah, like so like I said, Cain from the Bible is the most powerful vampire. And, and then, he's it, still around? It's, uh, it's kind of fuzzy. Nobody really knows. It, it's also not... Into, literally, Cain is the original vampire, but it's not widely believed that that's the case amongst vampires. Like, it's kind of a myth. It, it's a 100% true myth, but a myth. So nobody's seen him in, like... Thousands of years. Well. In other words, we'll see him at some point in the game. No, I'll tell you, uh, you won't see him. Whoa! <laughs> what is happening on my text menu? <laughs> You're fucking insane. No, look at. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So the, the green <clears throat> option. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so there are persuasion things. Like I said, like you can persuade people, you can seduce them, you can intimidate them. Or Malkavian, you can use your power to make them insane. I believe green is intimidate. So you're basically telling him to give you money or you'll kick his ass. <laughs> That's excellent. Is that like 100%? Yes. Awesome. Uh, give me. Yes, it is his first I time playing Yegan. I did off. try to discourage Malkavian, but the uh, chat convinced him otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, I take his watch too? Um, is oh, there yeah. is there any bad no... reasons to not fuck this guy over? No. <laughs> fuck this guy then. It's a quantum limited edition. <laughs> Only fifty made work. <laughs> this guy is such a show. You're getting sucked too, buddy. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't don't suck him. <laughs> okay, so well, um, you're in the middle of a crowded street, right? Uh -huh. If you do vampire things in the middle of a crowded street, they'll, be they'll notice that you're a fucking vampire. <laughs> so basically, all I accomplished there was mugging this guy. You just burst around the corner and mugged him. So yeah, uh, don't oh, don't do vampire things in front of other people, basically, unless you're alone. Like if it's just you and them, it's cool. <laughs> this guy's great. I work for a vampire. It's a small world. Um, awesome are the magical monkey bars in my head. Oh god, this dialogue is painful. This is such wacky, random bullshit. 
It makes sense, though. Oh, listen to this guy. You, that means you're Malkavian. You're talking all nuts. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, do you, do you like the dialogue or would you rather it be normal? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Because, I mean, if you want to change it, it should probably be now before you actually start the game. Nah, you know what? I, I don't... I... <laughs> Are you going to stream this again after tonight? It's possible. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. Jury's kind of out. Oh, I think it gets pretty good. Like I said, it starts slow. I'm, I'm getting into the fact that I just robbed a guy. That, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then, like, if you continue playing for another hour, you'll meet, like, a crazy, sexy vampire chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is so bitchy. Oh. I should apologize to him. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little... I am a female, Jagan. Yeah, but y y you need to have points in seduction. To... Why don't I have points Sed in seduction? Oh, I have experience points, don't I? Can I put points in yeah. seduction? Potentially. Yes. Uh, whenever a vampire let a human drink their blood, the human gains a little vampire power, and then the humans become a ghoul. So this guy's a ghoul? This guy's a ghoul. Somebody, some vampire gave him their blood without killing them. If you kill them and give them your blood, you become a vampire. It's awesome! Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like... So this guy is super stoked about being a ghoul. Yeah, he's a stoked bro. I just, I felt like a god just sucking on this nasty dude's wrist. <laughs> this guy has some good dialogue. <laughs> See, you're already getting into it. Oh, this guy doesn't want to talk to me about which vampire it is. Can I, can I seduce him into information? No, you can't seduce this guy. I think he is only into guys with nasty wrists. <laughs> Guy's on a secret mission. Oh, he's. This guy's on a secret mission. Okay. You know, it is potentially possible this guy's totally lying to you, and he doesn't work for a vampire. He's just a crazy guy on the side of the street. But he seems to know what he seems to know what we're about, though. Hello. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, yeah, I hey. hope you're cheap. <laughs> No. How does 40 sound? Do I have 40? Okay, I will tell you this. You will not fuck her. This is, she will follow you around into a dark alley so you can suck her blood. Oh. Fuck that. <laughs> Want some fuck. Oh, so that's basically like a, like you pay them for their blood. But they don't think you're sucking their blood. They just... They oh, no, think... yeah, because they have an orgasm when you suck their blood. Look at this. this there's a party over here now. Uh, you should go down the street so you can trigger the plot. All the way down the street? Like, past the prostitute? Yeah, all the way... No, the other direction. Oh, god damn it. Is she wearing a chocolate German helmet? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. What's up with her back? Oh my god, what's wrong with this woman? Look, I mean, you have been working the street. Look, have you seen the size of those? Good God, just gross wounds. I think she's wearing a corset. Oh God, I don't want to like pickpocket. Shit. Pick? No, no, oh no. Th there's no crime for pickpocketing. Uh, I was like, you say that, but there's a cop after me now. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's a crime. <laughs> um. Um, okay, you should. You see, do you see the door with blood in front of it on the ground? Yeah. Go in that room. Ah! Go the cop is after me. Unusable while cops are in pursuit. All right, I guess you're gonna get hit with a tire iron. <laughs> Big roar spots. You're gonna get hit. You get smacked. Um, more cops are gonna come. <laughs> cops are kind of tough, really, in the game. Oh, get fucked with this tire iron. I, am I take, doing zero damage? I think at this point you might actually do more damage with your fists. What if I just die? 
I've suffered a final death. Also, you should have been using blood buff. Remember, buffs are a thing. I sure hope there was an autosave. Well. <laughs> One way to find out, I guess. Hey, hey, hey. You got some translators? Yeah, you, you really need to... I don't think... Except for Obfuscate, maybe. And that's only if they see you cast. I don't think any of your powers violate the Masquerade. So you really need to get into the habit of using your magical powers. Okay, so you use Blood Buff more often. Yeah. Or Trance. Trance helps because it makes them stop doing everything. Not Trance. Um, hysteria. Yeah, Hysteria. I should get into the... Uh, yeah, I should I should quick save. You are, you are correct. What is my... I'm assuming F5. Uh, it's one of the F buttons. One of the F buttons is the also quick is load, so be careful. PM. Commander. Let me see. I just saved it. F5. F6? 7? 4? I think it might be F4 or F5. F what the hell does F3 do? Just made F3, a... I believe, opens one of your inventories. Yeah. F3 changes what armor you're wearing. Am I what? Yes. Okay, F3 can go away. F1 is my... Inventory? Yeah. There we go. Now I've got fists. F1 is melee weapons, F2 is ranged weapons, and F3 is body armor. Oh, I see. Gotcha. And then inventory is I, which is everything in your inventory, including money and shit. Pill bottles, normal watch. Okay. All right. That's fine. We didn't lose that much time because we didn't really learn anything. I guess we could talk to the ghoul again. Is there any You probably to should so? because what he does tell you lets you do something later on. And oh, you can't do it unless you talk to him. All right. Let's get past some of your stuff. Um, I'm a ghoul. He's a ghoul. Yep. Well, the way was it slick. Um. It's all yep. Oh, all these things. Yeah, he said he's on a secret mission. So I, yeah, I guess we didn't know that he was on a secret mission until now. All right, so I guess I should go follow this guy into the building. Yeah, the guy that was stumbling across the street. Yeah. You're entering Elysium. Elysium is an area of a powerful vampire. Okay, basically, plot character is in here. We don't want you to kill him and break the game, is what Elysium means. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty great. Alright. Um, yeah. That that's basically is what they're saying. is Yeah, if you kill this guy, the game breaks. Did they not know how to not... how to make this guy essential? Um, I, th I think NPCs are essential, because remember, you tried to kill the tutorial guy, and he didn't die. Yeah, so why but... didn't they just make this guy... <laughs> why didn't they just yeah, make him they... plot essential? Or do they need so, to get gameplay? He places? is. Like, I, don't, I think even if you were able to attack him, he wouldn't die, but I think it's just more of a... Can be... Like, it, it's more to tell you that this is, like, a plot area and shit like that. Mercurio, if that's what you mean. Shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? <laughs> this guy doesn't know what I'm talking about either. Bleeding all over the carpet, I can't even understand what the hell. I do like how they have different options for what vampire you are. I got, I went. Uh, what is this lump? Is this my ring? I like how their reaction the moment you open your mouth is "fuck, you're a Malkavian." <laughs> you gotta look and tell me. Uh, reveal your clumsy assailants. I will finish their task. Um, you are a silly dying man. <laughs> all right, all right. Jeez, you think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out? I show up at the beach with the money, right? I think you know, one is mean, two is Bricks positive, and three is back. neutral. Wow, you are a dick. <laughs> also, you shouldn't be a dick to this guy. Why shouldn't I be a dick? Because it pays off later. My ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit. There you got them. So you're a so I should be nice to him. What demons are attacking I anybody? 
I don't think Roar needs to bite this guy to get blood. We just lick the sofa. I mean, you've done it to worse. You did suck a rat. Down the street in the parking garage. Uh, parking garage. Those better not be some of my last words. We gotta, we gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever people do. This is so. Mercurio is a type of vampire. No. No. Not a vampire. So what's Mercurio? If he was a vampire, he wouldn't be complaining about his ribs being broken and his liver hanging out of his stomach. Well, I don't know. You said earlier that a rocket launcher could blow up a vampire. Or a shotgun yeah, could take out a vampire. A shotgun, either like to the brain or enough times, could kill a vampire. But uh, another thing about vampires in the setting is they don't really have internal organs. Oh, well, they do, but they don't do... They wouldn't care if... Their lung fell out. Okay, so I'm not a dick to this guy. I'm not telling anybody about him. Right. So is that is that enough to not be a dick to him? Yeah. Well, no. The, the real not be a dick is something that happens later. But it, it, it's not really a spoiler. Mercurio is a ghoul. Basically. Oh, Mercurio is just his name. So he's just like... Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's a human that knows about vampires and is enslaved to one. Or, well, he sucked on some ugly dude's wrist. So basically all the humans in this town are ghouls that work for vampires so far. Uh, well, no, there's the guy you mugged. He, oh yeah, he's just a regular human. <laughs> there's also the cop that tried to kill you. <laughs> Oh, I like how there's a log here. Mercurio has asked you to retrieve the astrolite. Uh, oh yeah, you should um, you should get him some drugs. How do I get him? Oh, it's from the junkie pricks who live in a dump at on the bench. So yeah, you should uh, bust into the hospital and give him some drugs. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, actually, uh, I usually have drugs at this point, and it's just an option you can do when you talk to him. But uh, yeah, so you need to go find some some morphine, basically. How do you how do you have drugs otherwise? Don't forget the prostitute. I don't need um, blood though. Think I think I either just go into the hospital right away, or there might be a, some morphine in one of the buildings in your apartment. <laughs> Is this magazine called Bitch Frenzy? Oh God, yes! Look at all the magazines. They are amazing in this game. Ah no! Oh God! Eek! No! Sorry! 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 Just punch somebody! Oh no! Eek! Eek! Let go! Well, did you not get a violation for that? I'm no, I got plenty of violations. Okay. Well, <laughs> I should probably reload that. I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, you probably should. Fortunately, I just saved, so. Hey, man. Oh, it's a non ghoul. Oh, gotcha. There's a magazine called Chin. <laughs> it's a Chin magazine. It's just a picture zoomed in on a guy's chin. <laughs> I don't see Chin. There's Hooker, though. Can I get any just closer? Whenever you Whenever you see, I, if you had a gun, I think you could look down the scope. Oh, I do, but Otherwise, if I pull it out, won't they be upset? Yeah, also, I don't think you can do that with uh, the pistol. It's only with the... Okay, let me talk to this lady. What's up? Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. I want in now. You'll be seeing beyond sight. I'm assuming that's bad if I tell her that. Uh, okay, I'll need to actually re... Uh, oh, no, 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 okay, so red. Red, so you know how you have your dimension ability? Uh-huh. You make people crazy? So you can use that to persuade people. Oh, can I just turn this receptionist crazy? Yes. That is... Basically, the option is always works in your favor. So there's basically no reason not to make everybody insane that you can. One of the fun parts about playing a Malkavia. Oh, I love that. Okay, you're crazy. Right, you <laughs> I mean, she seems all right for being crazy. Some of them get more crazy than the others. Basically, you're just Jedi mind tricking them. Excellent. I'm looking in here. What's up, lady? Whoa. Oh, God, you're not doing so hot. 
<laughs> you need all this blood. Because I can use it. <laughs> what the hell? Why am I watching this lady go nuts? Feed her your body. Oh. Oh! Feed her my body. I can make her better. Right? Well, I mean, vampire blood does make humans heal super fast. Okay, I'm healing you. You can be my slave. Excellent. Oh, she is perfect. <laughs> the look on my face. <laughs> Whoa! She got crazy. You know, somebody, like some schoolgirl walking into a hospital bed and letting another woman suck on her wrist. I think this is the start of a porno. <laughs> I gained some humanity from feeding her my blood. Uh, Grise, your divinity is my salvation. Yep. Who, uh, who are you? Uh, I think, um, uh -oh. do? just don't make her scared. What did you do? To like, me? don't tell her you're a fucking vampire. Okay. Uh, I am a simple worker, a hospital healer. <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, you did something. <laughs> uh oh, she's too smart for that. <laughs> I kissed your wrist. Nothing. It's fine. Um, you. I feel like I know you. Also, congratulations. You if you play this game long enough, you'll have a vampire slave now. Excellent! Um, she won't be your slave right away, though. That's fine. I'm, I could be patient. Um, I guess I should not tell her I'm a vampire. Probably because she'll go and freak out the rest of the world. Yes. Okay, yeah. I will leave you my blood love. <laughs> Alright, so I just gotta come back for her and she'll be my thrall at some point. Yeah, basically once you leave Santa Monica, once you do the main quest of this area, she'll be your blood slave. Excellent. I will be back for you. Alright, what's going on the rest of the Don't this need place? to sound so creepy about it. <laughs> I, I'm kind of liking this game. I, this is, I'm kind of liking the different options you can do to stuff. It, it's a good game. It's janky as hell. Yeah, it but, seems like, pretty if you janky. Can get pa if you can get past that, there's actually some decent content in there. Let me see what's in here. Uh, are they going to be upset by me lockpicking? Because I'm already doing <clears> it. <throat> uh, looks yeah, like nobody saw upset, me. But I think you're too far away. Yeah, nobody saw me. I will say, me. don't go all the way upstairs. All right. Oh, can I get the the like abilities now? What abilities? Like, oh yeah, you put points. Yeah, you just gotta go to your skill sheet. How do we go there? It's S? No. M N. Okay. If you hit J, J and go to your journal, you should be able. Yeah, yeah. It, J top left, it'll say character sheet. Oh, there it one is. of the options. I do not have an option, man. I'm gonna put an right option now, into. You should... How many skill experience points do you have? Three. Oh, does that let okay, me? So... Oh, I see. I see. So I get to put in three things. No. Um, if you don't click anything, so if you if you're currently were hovered over firearms, it'll say cost three. Oh, oh, I see. Actually, you can click on something because you can refund it as long as you don't leave the screen. So it takes three experience points to put one point in firearms right now. I don't want to um, do that. If you go over, to, I think subterfuge and appearance is, if that's what you wanted to put points in. Or you can just highlight seduction on the right. But yeah, basically, experience points are just one point. So if it costs four to raise something, you need four experience points to raise. Okay, so I need eight to raise appearance. I don't have nearly that much. Um, there should be something else to raise seduction. Uh, seduction. Like I think oh, it's subterfuge. subterfuge. Yeah, you're right. All right. Seduction it is. Or subterfuge it is. There we go. Excellent. So, what's going on in this room right here? What's up, buddy? You having trouble with this guy? Whoa! <laughs> I got the Jamaican nurse. <laughs> Excellent. Can I can I shut the door and then feed on this guy? Uh, you shouldn't. Why? Uh, you can do something with him later, and you probably don't want him to be comatose for that. Oh, all right. We'll be back for you too. Oh, man, I got also, man, is his shirt bloody? <laughs> What's with this guy on the table? Can I talk to him? No, he's he's out. 
I, I think I think a crime just went down in there. <sighs> oh, this room's just completely empty. Is there anything to steal? No. There, there is some morphine in one of these rooms on this floor. I think it's in the locked office. And so, in the locked office, you should hack the computer if possible. Probably can't. You probably don't have enough. Oh god! Oh god! No! 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 Oh god! Oh god! No! Stop! Stop! Stop it! No! Jamaican! Wait! wait what? How, why? Ah. Oh, that's right. You ran out of blood. That's right. What happens if you don't have max humanity? Well, uh, you could eat one of your blood packs. <laughs> um, I have never had that happen from just running out of blood. Is that how... Wait, oh, so if I run out of blood, you go into a frenzy and just kill the nearest no, person? Not necessarily. Um, so you know how they were talking about humanity? Uh-huh. Okay, so if you look on your character sheet, at the top of it, it'll have a humanity meter. Basically, the lower that meter is, the easier it is for what just happened to happen. And the higher it is, the less likely that it is. So if that's all the way down... If you have, like, half blood, you've got, like, a 50-50 chance of just going insane. 50-50 chance of going insane? I'm, I'm pulling numbers out of my ass. I don't oh, know the actual enough. percentage. But, yeah, so the, you, you should also probably reload and not let that guy be dead. All right. Load game. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I guess just eat a blood pack so that doesn't happen. Oh, so that's what blood packs are for, then. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, you it's that's a blood pack. It's basically your med kits. So how did I lose all that much blood before? Uh, cuz you didn't have much. If you look right now, you don't have any blood cuz it just never got restored. Well, okay, but if I suck that guy, the Jamaican, and oh, do I have to do her again? Oh, yeah, yeah, when when you when you no, you, my I don't know. No, she's fine. No. So I should no, eat that blood bag. Yeah, it, it's when you went crazy, you drained the the Jamaican dude dry, so you got your blood back. Oh, you don't get a lot of blood. But what if I... But if he... You said I have to come back later. How long does he stay comatose for? Like, the rest of the game? I also don't know if the guy on the table counts as aware or not. I don't think so, because he, he didn't... Nobody seemed to notice when I went frenzied. Fair enough. You can you can drink them then. Go right ahead. So when I come back, he'll be uh, fine. When I say come back later, I mean it's literally you need to look on the computer in that office. Oh. So okay. Well, maybe well not then. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll take him later. It's in here. It says you empty again. Grab this pill bottle. Sure. Need a blood buff and then lock pick. Although actually. It might not matter, because I don't know if you'll be able to hack the computer. Oh, so I can't go on the computer. I don't know. You might be able to. How do I How do I hack? Control C, I believe. What C? Control. Control C. Ah, no. Invalid command break. Oh, wait. It's already... Yeah, yeah. Type list get the available menu okay the sad thing is i think i know the password to this computer <laughs> it's it's something c to hack alt c i don't know if somebody in the chat knows they can say what hack is hack no yeah it's control c you need to type in email and then hit control c oh like from that for example yeah ah Ibdrael. Uh, my skill is too low. What if I blood buff? No, blood buff doesn't raise hacking. Uh -huh. How do I get the password? Is it somewhere in the hotel, you think? For or this the... computer, it is somewhere in the, uh, in the hospital. It is somewhere in the... Alright, I'm gonna... It's on gonna... the top floor. I'll go find it. In here. Now, not all computers have their password listed, but I believe this one is. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to hack any of this. Shit. What a 
shame. Oh, um, Auspex might raise hacking, though. But not sure on that. I got Wits up. I don't know what, I forget if Wits raises it or not. It does Wits and Perception. Oh! Laker! Yeah, it worked! Nice. Cool. <laughs> Good emails. Hey Danny, I need a little control. Can you go up to controlled morph the morphine? Okay. Uh, basically there's morphine upstairs, but you already have morphine. No, it's not for my personal use. I didn't know they were out yesterday. Malcolm's office, F-Dog. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, there is um, across the street. If you leave the hospital, you can buy a book that raises your. You don't really need to read the personnel. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. What is that? Is that just who works in the hospital? Yeah. Although flat bottom uh, comma P is somewhat interesting. All right, how do we get upstairs? Oh, the stairwell. Yeah, it's through the door you unlocked. Uh, apparently, there is an employee at the hospital whose, quote, extreme flatulence is disrupting the staff. <laughs> oh, no, go downstairs. Oh. I managed to unlock. If I, do you get, like, experience for unlocking? Like, for, for hacking? Well, you might get, you might, it's not as a rule, um, but you might, like in a situation, if that makes sense. Like, as a rule, lockpicking and hacking won't give you any, exp not like Fallout or anything like that, but um, if it's like an optional objective of a quest or something like that, you'll get experience for it. Also, welcome to the creepiest fucker in the game. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? <laughs> I, I do enjoy the dialogue from this character. <laughs> These are both pretty great options. <laughs> Does the Pope wear a funny hat? <laughs> right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing. To well, does he? So th do I get to buy blood from this person? Yeah, he's the person you buy blood from. He? <laughs> he sounds like a he. I've got $94 for a pack of blood. Ugh. I mean, I don't want to presume. Oh, yeah, I also never bought blood from this guy. Except, well, I did it at the beginning. <laughs> Good God, that's it's expensive. It actually cost... It, 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 buying... No, don't. You want to save your money. Yeah, I didn't buy any. Uh, blue blood packs do restore, like, a lot more blood than a regular blood pack. So just reference but you noticed there were two different blood packs in there right i should probably take some blood before i go no, crazy no, no, again no, no. i should probably use some blood it, it, are you completely out of blood yeah because i just okay as long as you don't take any damage you won't go crazy then oh, okay so you basically like every time you use blood um from your right meter or your left meter um you make a check to whether or not you go crazy or not so if you aren't crazy now you're not going to go crazy unless you start taking damage on your blue meter which won't happen unless i'm in a fight right what we got down here another computer freezers Man, you're just exploring everywhere. Right? Oh, I can hack this at least. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, like I said, you probably should just leave and buy that book. You also got the morphine, which was the main reason you went here. Oh, okay. There is a lot more to do in the hospital, though, but you can save it for later. How do I get out of here? Okay, up. And... Uh, Ouch. actually, there should be a way right out onto the street. Yeah, I think stairwell. I found it. 
So then you want to go back to Mercurio and give him the morphine. And then you can uh, and then... try and get those explosives. So he's got explosives that we need. No, he doesn't have them. He had them. He got oh. Mugged. Why do we care if he has explosives? Because the boss of vampires wants you to help this guy, and is, is why. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. pawn shop. You ran past it. But I, I, you said to go to the guy. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Go to the guy. You can go there first. Hey, buddy. Is that Phantom? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Have you crossed the dark river? Hey, I got some more humanity. I will return with the boom boom. Awesome. You sound like a three year old. That's what that's what he said. I <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, how much longer you want to go? Um, I guess till we finish helping this guy. I mean, uh, assuming it's not the rest of the game. So, <laughs> so you're good until like 1 a.m.? Oh, okay. I meant like. I'm assuming all you. Okay, once we find the fireworks, then. Alright. Because um, I was going to like introduce you to another crazy character if you want to. Uh, sure. Are they, can I get to them now? Well, I guess you could just go. Do the boom boom first. Uh, to do the to do the, the boom boom, do you see the parking garage that you're standing next to? Um. Yes. Yeah, go in there. I think uh, near where the prostitute is. <clears throat> oh, here's a parking garage. Oh yeah, he did say there was something in the parking garage, didn't he? Well, he said you need to get to the beach and to access... If you notice, the parking garage says public access beach through the parking garage. Oh, I see. I need... Guide Roar down to the beach to kill some guys. Yeah, I need to... I need to, I need to suck some blood. Okay, um, so before you get to the beach, or while you're looking for it, uh, you know your life meter on the left? Uh-huh. And do you see that symbol that looks vaguely like a mask right above it? Yeah. Okay, that basically means you're in a town where basically if you get caught doing vampire stuff you get in trouble if that turns to a gun you don't need to observe you can basically do whatever the fuck you want also go back in the parking garage wrong way oh did I get turned around yeah I was wondering why this wasn't the beach So basically what it means is if you're... Basically this is like a town and combat zones. You can kill people and you won't lose humanity. You can use vampire powers and you don't get in trouble. Fine. Basically you're looking for a stairwell in the parking garage that's going down. Ah, right, here we Beach go. Beach access left. Uh, experience could be found by completing I'm quests. I'm bringing this up because the beach is a <clears throat> combat zone. So you can do whatever at the beach. Yeah, although I wouldn't kill the first person you see. I would not kill the first person you see. Um. Okay. Those men you are looking for. <laughs> Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Okay. They're not these guys. It's probably up the beach. Mm hmm Those guys seem nice. I won't kill them. I wouldn't do it now, but you should actually talk to all of them probably next time. Alright. And get some easy experience. Help ya. Uh, also, so also remember I said when you're fighting humans, you can just suck their blood in combat. Okay, you can go on in. And if you really want yeah, to the play, font is from being mucky again. You. Um, Alright, I'm gonna save it. Shit will not be started. 
Uh, they'll probably see you through the window, to be quite honest. So don't. Well, I mean, is that isn't that okay, or do I not want a bunch oh, of? Oh, oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Like you'll you'll probably end up killing these assholes anyway. Oh yeah, but, I was uh, kind of planning to. You you can like totally just talk your way through this entire segment. Oh no, I want blood. Well, jump on him and ride him like a pony. F. I mean, should I bother keeping him alive? No. In fact, I think he will go hostile uh, if you let him live. Yeah, I think he does. Oh, hey, somebody's shooting me. Why'd you let him live? Wait, well, yeah, because well, I that was before you oh. said it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. If you're in a combat area, you can totally just drain people dry. There's no downside to it. My feed attempt is failing. Points and brawl, man. It's not failing. You're missing. It says fail. There we go. Work? Uh, finally. There we go, that worked out. Oh, there's another guy alive. Also got a new gun. Who else is getting punched? Oh god, there's so many. Oh yeah, another easy way is like, punch them, and then feed on them. That makes it easier. So many guys are still alive. You. Like, I'm trying to feed on them, yeah, but... Yeah, like, pun punch, well... You, there you go. If they shoot you while you're feeding, they'll get knocked off. I, oh, here's the Astro Light. It's like, if you take damage, you just stop feeding. I mean, that kind of um, worked also, out, I guess. Also, there's something else. Don't leave this area. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the laundry room and look around, you might be able to find... I thought I found something. Let's see. Laundry room. I found a vent. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yep. Check out that vent. Trying to. Uh, oh, hello. Money! Remember, uh, Mercurio said these guys stole his money, too. Oh, that's his money? Yeah. What else do we got in here? Anything? No. No. There might be a TV radio in the kitchen. Not TV, a uh, car radio. And sell for any cash. I don't... Oh. Car stereo, nice. Cool. So we got what we needed from this place. Yep. Excellent. Uh, Murdered a whole here. bunch of people. Well, I mean, yeah. You can keep it if you want, but that would be a dick move. Uh, how also, yeah, you, you can't pick up you can't pick up multiples of weapons. So if you have a baseball bat in your inventory, you cannot pick up an additional baseball bat. They're fall damage. I don't think so. You're a vampire? Why would there be fall damage? Well, again, they don't seem to be invincible, so... Oh, I guess I should talk to well, these guys. In in what mythos has a vampire ever been invincible? Practically invincible, I mean, except half, for the sun. Half, half of vampire stories are about somebody killing a vampire. I, I do want to point out, you, pr you tanked about, like, 50 bullets in that fight. True. That seems pretty damn invincible. But they took like 15 punches, so. Um, we know we can't hunt around here. Be my guest. You'd be the first. Most of the time we talk, just run us off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. <laughs> this English vampire. I, th I think he's Australian. Or whatever, not, not yes. Um, He's a citizen of the Commonwealth. Who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts. 
for mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever, big guy. Uh, he does give you a quest, though. Does, so does he really? Do yes. Uh, whatever. Uh, the TLDR of what he's saying is, remember how I said all uh, vampires are descended from Cain? Yeah. And that the, the vampires that came after Cain are weaker than Cain. Um, so every time a vampire makes a vampire, that vampire is weaker than them. And eventually you get to the point where there's very little difference between a vampire and a human. And that's what these people are. Clinically, yes. But honestly... They're basically weak as fuck vampires. Is the TLDR of what these people say. Okay, so these guys have thin blood according to my crazy Yeah, they're talk. thin blood because their vampire blood is super weak. Because they got sired by like a 20th generation vampire. Alright, let's go get the give this back to the guy. Uh, at some point, yeah, okay, that's fair. I mean, I didn't put, like, I, I thought I put some points into, like, unarmed. I should be relatively powerful. I think you put points into melee, not unarmed. Oh. Which is fine. You'll you'll eventually get a super awesome melee weapon. I'm not going to spoil it, because it's amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's give this guy back his thing and then I'll call it a night. Did, although he said, did he want it? He wanted the asteroid, didn't he? Yeah. I got the boom boom. There, there is actually, I, I would encourage you to play for five more minutes. Okay. Yes, I got your money back. Aww, you're being nice. Well, uh, maybe I get experience. I lost two hundred and fifty dollars, but wait—it was yeah, only two hundred. I thought it was two thousand. No, it was two fifty. Wow. You need to make some place disappear. Oh, oh, so this is the guy I'm working for. Yeah, that's Merc Mercurio. He was the guy that sent you the email. Remember? Oh, he just got all beat up. Is it? Wasn't he a pretty boy before? No, this is the, the other first guy? time you've ever met him. I'm thinking of the other guy then. You're, yeah, you're thinking of Donald Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the and he's the Lord guy. I think it's like actually 14 or 15. Yeah. Well, a guy I never met At least him, in this setting. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city. Okay. Fortunately. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Borman, you know her? Anyway, word is to reason I uh, don't want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon. I need to talk to them. You need to talk to Therese Vorman. Find out where Tongue is. I try not to do business there. Therese. Okay. And they run a club called Asylum. So where, where do you want me to also, go? Also, I'm not going to... Yeah, uh, you want to go to Asylum. So if you leave the building and go straight down the alley. Like, um, you know the alley next to the hospital? Mm-hmm. You go down that. Go uh, that. Hospital. You should, uh, club. And then you can end it. I just want you to meet the, the crazy cat. <laughs> asylum this way? Oh, there's one other thing you can do in Asylum real quick, too. Um, it's the main use of seduction. Whoa, it's her! Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club. You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? What? Oh, my. A Malkavian. To be absolutely delicious. Is she a Malkavian? What makes you say that? Does she seems crazy too? <laughs> yes. Excellent. 
So does that make it easier to bed her? Uh, no. In fact, I think it makes it harder because you have no idea what the fuck your character is saying. <laughs> also, look at those guys dancing in the background. Oh, I know. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Um, oh, is, is the gimp dancing? Because I know there's a gimp in this club. I don't see the... I can just barely see them beyond her shoulders. Um, I happen to meet the prettier face first. Sure. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any but we can talk about that later. Oh, God. I see very pink text. But uh, pink is seduction. Excellent. <laughs> um, All Roar needs to hear. Fear and love are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bounty. Oh God, I hope I hope she has the follow up fire hose line. Because <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. I'm the finger down your spine and all Love that line. Oh yeah. So, full disclosure. I dropped that line on a girl <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> no, but she was also a friend, so it oh, there you go. <laughs> Uh I'm the finger down your spine and when I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile and always want to know who is that girl. Tell me your name. My heart beats like a thousand primal drums. Give me the gift of your name, or your games give me cold willies. I don't think it's that one. Probably two. Oh, it's Jeanette. From this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable I believe that's Harley Quinn, actually. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings. On and the, this is just basically ripping off Harley Quinn, right? Yeah, basically. Except I don't think she has a psychology degree. Oh man. Okay. Oh, there's the gimp right over her right shoulder. Oh, you can't see it now. I, you can't see her anymore. <laughs> Some stupid AI just happened. Uh oh. <laughs> also, this guy looks really out of place in this club. He does. Uh, uh, so, uh, red-haired, uh, last thing, red-haired chick by the bar. Red-haired chick by the bar, like just normal-looking chick? Yeah. Whoa! Um... What are you doing out of my dream is beautiful. <laughs> oh, she didn't, she didn't like my, didn't like my advance. Oh, I get to try Which again? Yeah. <laughs> out of my dreams. Maybe you don't have enough seduction for this. I'm gonna... Oh, she is not into this. <laughs> I, I, get, I thought you only needed three, but maybe you need four. Uh, basically, um, you can... In every club like this, there's like three in the game, there are a couple of uh, women that you can talk to, and if you seduce them, they'll let you drink their blood and nobody gets freaked out about it. Oh, excellent. What if I use, uh... Do I have anything you're in that... A, you're in an asylum right now, so you can't actually use any powers. Oh. Alright. Oh, is it this guy again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if, if you want to call it quits here, that's probably a good point. Alright, I'll talk to this guy later. Good God, that is quite a game. Well, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's certainly interesting. I'll tell you that much. I will. I will have to reflect long and hard on that game. At least the channel surf is working. Long and hard. <laughs> Raising. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for your assistance. Okay. He said. See ya. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Whoever's whoever wanted to hang out with us, awesome to see you guys. Y'all have a fantastic evening. Bye.